Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing well. I put together these little pieces using Dollar Tree material on my fireplace mantle. I am not a huge decorator for Valentine's Day, but I thought like the mix of the shabby chic and the farmhouse can kind of be put out for a few weeks at least, especially in February, because it does have a little bit of the heart and love theme. Um, it does tie in with Valentine's Day and I was definitely inspired by a shabby chic look. But I hope you guys enjoy these ideas and I look forward to sharing more with you on the channel very soon. Until next time everyone, have a wonderful Sunday. Bye for now. The first DIY that I'm going to show you is the little basket filled with hearts. So I'm, I found a Google image heart and I printed it off and then I'm just cutting it out. However, you can freehand this as well. And then you're folding your little template and just taking a piece of fabric and folding that in half as well. So now you're gonna cut out your little heart from either, this here is a scarf from the Dollar Tree. You can use scarf material, you can use old t-shirts, you can use felt. There are so many possibilities, so don't limit yourself on what you have. If you have scrap, piece, scrap pieces of fabric, this is the time to use them. I love the little strings, so I wanted to save the little strings of the scarf on top. I just thought it gives it some extra texture and dimension to the little basket. You can use Microsoft fiber cloths from the Dollar Tree as the backing. You can use felt from the Dollar Tree as your backing. You can use an old t-shirt. I'm just using some repurposed material here that has really cute little eyelets in it, and I thought it would just be fun for the backing. Now, I'm hot gluing these down. You can definitely sew these. I'm just not a sewer. So please, if you can sew them down, you would have these cute little plushy hearts forever. Um, hot gluing obviously limits the longevity of these little guys. So you're going to just glue around and leave a little opening so you can fluff in some. I'm using pillow fluff in this case here that um, I'm repurposing as well from an old pillow. And just you just need a little bit. So stuff it until you are happy with the look and the puffiness of it and then just either sew down that corner again or hot glue it as I'm doing here. Once you have that area all sealed up you can cut out the little shape of the heart right out from the backing and so now what happens is you've got this fluffy little heart shaped pillow and it's obviously fluffed out on the back end in the front so make sure you're using enough fluff or enough pillow filling to make these little hearts so now for the next heart i wanted to talk a little bit about using uh, the lace table runners from the dollar tree or the lace placemats they have so many uses i've made a cute little heart DIY as well on the channel a wreath using the table runner I will link that in the description down below and in a little card up above so you guys can take a peek at that so you have a little bit multi-use of using lace but I just think it looks so pretty um, into a little shape part like this as well so again you can sew or hot glue I'm just going to share with you some of the different materials that I'm using to make the little hearts of course to make the basket a little more interesting if all the hearts are the same material I find it kind of loses interest to the eye so this is more aesthetically pleasing and I'm just going to go through the process here of all the different materials you can use again the lace you can find at the Dollar Tree they have the, the beautiful table runners and placemats So I wanted to share with you that I made a few hearts as well that were just simple like this. I used the same fabric on the front and on the back in order for other hearts to stand out. So these kind of were like the background hearts. I just hot glued it again and stuffed it. I'll show you what it looked like at the end. And then I made a cute little burlap one. I just thought this would tie in like the farmhouse shabby chic look together, especially with this burlap feel. Um, basically, you just cut out a piece of burlap. Again, your hearts don't all have to be the same size. I just kept them all the same size. So if you're finding that you have material that's a little bit smaller, make your hearts a little bit smaller. If you have material that's a little bit um, larger, you can make a, a little bit of a bigger heart. My hearts are all the same size, but you definitely have that 
flexibility to make larger and smaller hearts. And the burlap stuffed really, really easily. I think this little heart turned out super cute. I will share with you, of course, how the basket all turned out at the end, but I wanted to give you guys ideas on the material that can be used to make the little hearts. So I wanted to show with Cher as well how quickly you can make these little hearts rather than doing one at a time. You can just glue a bunch to the flat surface that you're working on, stuff them all, and then just finish gluing the end pieces. And then you just have like this material here just to cut out a bunch of hearts. It's a lot faster. I was sharing individual ones because I was using different material, but then once I started using the same material, I just thought, oh, this is much faster and quicker. So here I am making a few hearts all at once. You can also, I'm a big fan of using like these little beads from the Dollar Tree. You can also glue these little pearls or just sew them in, I think. And here I am with a little collection of hearts. I'm going to use a scarf from the Dollar Tree again. I am loving the material that I find at Dollar Tree lately. I'm going to use some of my pillow fluff and then I'm going to fold my scarf kind of in place to hide all the fluffing because I needed it to prop up the little hearts. And of course, because this is going on my fireplace mantle, the front is what's going to be visible, not the back of the little basket. So I'm just fluffing it. I like the strings inside of the scarf hanging outside just to give it a little more dimension and texture and, and eye appeal. So now I'm going to fill the little basket with my hearts and arrange them and this is how it turns out. Bringing together and tying in the material, I thought we would make a little canvas heart. So I've used one of the art canvases from the Dollar Tree and I'm doing it on the back so I'm just reversing it. I'm, again I'm going to cut out the exact same size sh shape of heart on the same material that I've used in a little heart in the basket to bring it all together and I absolutely love the print of this scarf from the Dollar Tree and I'm going to use it with the lines kind of running down so you can see the pattern of the heart and I'm going to place the heart here. Now I don't know if I want to write the word love on okay so I'm going to use I think the lowercase letters I say I think this is cute and I'm not sure if I want to place it here on this wood frame or put the letters on the wood frame or stamp them right onto the canvas itself moving you'd have to move the heart up a little bit but um I think I like the idea of having the words on the actual wood frame. So I'm going to move it down to the bottom. I'm going to glue my heart right onto the canvas, leaving a little opening because I'm going to stuff this little heart again.
So I took one of those little natural wood slices from the Dollar Tree and I'm actually, I started writing with pencil, but then I thought to make it look more like a, I don't know, carved in look, I took a brown pencil crown and just wrote our initials. And I think this is just a cute little accent. So I'm using one of the little terrarium planter thingies from the Dollar Tree as well. And just using some, is it tool? Yeah. And putting some beads, crystals and gems. And I just thought it would give it a little accent there next to the little sign and my little basket and then I also have the love sign from the Dollar Tree I think I might transform that as well but I just didn't get around to it it looks cute this way see so the little canvas has like the dimension it's got a 3d heart on it and then the little love um, stamped on on the wood I think just looks super super cute and elegant and my little basket of hearts I hope you guys enjoyed this DIY or these DIYs and I look forward to sharing more with you in the near future thank you so very much for watching until next time bye everyone